This is the audio video plug which of course was removed before. It's just to show effectively what the um, this diagram under here is relating to. Looking on our main board the video connections are actually here. Um, you can wire either to the to the front of the board or of course onto the back. And these pins correlate to the printout that I've produced here which are quite happy to download if you so, so desire. The audio are clearly marked here with the left and the right. Um, the grounding of course can be taken from other places on the board or you can use these if you so desire. I'll just put in the S video just really for completeness if you prefer to connect that method and of course if your screen supports it. However the composite uh, has a very very good video quality. Um, normally you get colour bleeding, reds mixing in with other colours, greens too weak etc. Um, so that therefore RGB modding is usually a good idea but the N64 is very good quality in that regards. There's little mileage in, um, in not using composite to be quite frank and therefore that's what I'm using on this system. The N64 needs two voltages in order to work. One's quoted here as 12 volts, and in fact it works very fine at 7.2 or even 7.4 volts, and the other is a 3.3 volt line. In order to run both off the same battery, um, you need what's called a step-down regulator. Uh, in order to get the 3.3 volts from the same source. This sheet shows a blown up version of the back of that board. These three pins here are all ground which of course is where you can wire the negative from your battery. Uh, the positive will go straight to pin number six and the output voltage from the step down regulator will go to either of these two pins here. Talking of the regulators, there are a number you can utilise. These are two very popular ones from Texas Instruments showing how to wire one up. Um, this is a standard 100 UF capacitor and then there's the resistors. It can be on a 1.8 K ohm resistor. Um, if that doesn't give you quite 3.3 volts, try a 2 K ohm resistor. And another popular one is this one here, wired very slightly differently but again producing the same output. Okay the system is now wired up. I've got the uh, step down regulator down here. Um, I've used an orange wire for the 3.3, red for the 7.4 and black for the negative wire. Um, this is 3 amp cable, it's very flexible but it's more than capable of the amperage required by the system. The screen and the system will run off the single cell and in here also you see that the expansion pack has been inserted. There's no heat sink in here at the moment so I won't need this on for very long. I've also not got on the audio at the moment however I have just put in the composite connection and also just connected the ground to the side silver strip. Going to turn the lights off now. The screen I've got for this demonstration is an 8 inch screen. It's not the one I'm going to use for the project. So it's a little bit bigger. And there we go. System's powered on. There's no controller connected here yet. Therefore this is all working. Um, however the system's are telling me just to plug in the controller.